I'm back with another YouTube tutorial on how to make easy sea glass jewellery without any drilling, without any silversmithing. So simple, so quick and so easy. So if you want to learn how to make this gorgeous necklace and do something really cool with your browns, <laughs> then stay tuned. Okay, so this is the mock-up of the necklace that we're going to be making today. It's a layered necklace and I've chosen three brown pieces of sea glass of varying shades to make a kind of like an ombre look, which I thought was really, really pretty. So uh, we're just going to move the sea glass pieces to one side and I'll show you the chain situation. So I've just got two necklaces that I really liked of varying lengths and I've joined them with a jump ring at this bit and um, at this bit here as well. Just a simple jump ring, easy peasy. And then in the middle, I've snipped off a little piece of the, the chain and added it in the middle so that I can dangle the, um, the brown sea glass pieces from it. So you can see that it's slightly different lengths to give it that sort of drop shape. Okay, and now for our sea glass pieces, I'll give you a closer look. As I said, I went for three different shades of brown and I want to go for a kind of like an ombre vibe on this necklace. Really pretty and really earthy. And these are the bales that we're going to be using. These are very different from the last video. So they're kind of like a cup shape um, and have a jump ring already attached to them. So you can see here you would put the adhesive in the little sort of cup dome shape bit. and attach it to the top of the sea glass like so. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And if it kind of looks a bit more round than your sea glass, you can always give it a little squeeze with the pliers to make it the kind of right shape, maybe an oval or whatever. So we've got our epoxy, we've got our pliers, and we've set out three lumps of blue tack, white tack, whatever you want to call it. We've got our little mixing tray. I'm reusing this one, which is why it's got epoxy dried on it already. And we've got our sea glass pieces. So what we're going to do is we're going to set them into the white tack to make sure they're nice and stable and upright as well. That's the best way to do this so that they sort of sit, the little bales sit on top like hats. And we're going to mix up our epoxy, it's a two part, and you just squeeze it out onto the tray like so. Really, really easy. And then you give it a really good mix up then. So you've got to work really quickly with this. Um, it goes off quite quickly. I think you've got five minutes worth of uh, working time before it starts to set. So you give it a really good mix. Make sure that the two parts are equally distrib distributed. <laughs> and then we're going to get our bale. I'm using the pliers for this. And get it like that and you can see I've kind of squished this one as well so that it's more of an oval shape and it'll fit on top of my sea glass properly we fill it with a little bit of the epoxy swirl it around so we make sure that it gets in in every little area there's no air bubbles or anything like that that's going to affect our piece and then we kind of scrape off the excess like that and then we just pop it on top of our sea glass piece like a little hat <laughs> and you just adjust it so that it sits the way that you want it to. And there we go. So we repeat that same process then for the other two sea glass pieces. Pop the epoxy in, give it a swirl around, make sure you've got good coverage. and then scrape off the excess. 
and apply it. As easy as that guys, as easy as that. I'm doing the same with the third. As you can see, I've got very wobbly hands. I could never be a surgeon. <laughs> and there we go. We just leave them to sit there in their little white tack beds and dry. And it's a 24 hour cure on this, but they are set within 30 minutes. So you can continue to work with them. But look, they look so pretty and glowy. I think the browns are really underrated. Um, and this is something really pretty that you can do with your pieces of brown. Okay, so now all we have to do is assemble it. We're going to pop these on the chains as we did in the mock-up. So for the top chain, I'm just going to use this jump ring to attach. Now the bales have jump rings on them, but I wanted this piece to sit a little lower because of those little ball bearing beads on the chain. So I'm using a jump ring with this one. Easy peasy. You just get your pliers, open up the jump ring and attach it where you want, like so. Um, for the lower chain, I didn't want the bulk of an added jump ring, so we're just going to use the one that is on top of the bale. And so we just open it up very gently though, because you don't want to potentially snap it or break it and then you have to try and unglue your bale. So you just thread it onto the chain, directly onto the chain. Bit fiddly. There you go, and you just close it up. And it's that easy, guys. So I'm going to do the same for the other one. So we've assembled the necklace. It looks beautiful. That would be a lovely gift for anyone, even if you wanted to sell these. Now we're going to make the packaging. Okay, so the packaging we're going to make is like this, easy DIY, so all you need is some brown card and what I've done is folded it in half and we're going to punch a hole in each of these places like so. Try and make sure they're even <laughs> and then we're going to get our stamp or you can sign it or you can draw on it, whatever you want to do. I've just got this um, handmade by Welsh and Wally's stamp from eBay that I like to use. Next thing we're going to thread the necklace through the little holes like so and make sure we're positioned where we want it to be and then we just tack the back down with a little piece of salad tape so that it stays in place and then we simply seal up those three edges with a bit of tape or glue in this instance I've used a bit of double-sided tape because my glue ran out <laughs> and there we go we have your finished sea glass necklace and how beautiful is that and so easy to
Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and uh, there'll be loads more jewellery making videos to come. So please subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it. Let me know that you did and I'll make more. <laughs> See you soon. Bye.